Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. It is day number three of Cleveland's new drive through testing clinic at the W.O. Walker Building Garage. It was the first day you needed to make an appointment to get tested. For the first couple days, you only needed to register in advance. Then it was first come, first served. But demand was so overwhelming, the state had to shift to appointments. Those slots are now open for next week. We have a link for you on our News 5 app. The Cuyahoga County Jail is getting some help after the COVID surge led to staffing shortages. Today, the governor approved a plan to send staff from the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Correction and the Ohio Military Reserve to the County Correction Center. ODRC says roughly 56 correction staff members are out right now because of COVID. 147 inmates have also recently tested positive. Right now, the plan is for this help to last 30 days. The surge continues to have an impact on the overall community, too. We just learned the performances of Wicked at Playhouse Square canceled today and tomorrow. Also today, the Cleveland Clinic says it is extending the postponement of non-urgent surgeries that require the use of beds through January 14th. Essential and urgent surgeries, things like cancer, pediatric, transplant surgeries, as well as outpatients uh, that do not require a hospital bed, those will continue to be scheduled. If Christmas Mass is part of your family's tra tradition, there are some COVID protocols you need to keep in mind. The diocese says it's doing its best to reduce the spread of COVID. It says anybody who wants to attend Mass should feel safe, should feel welcome in the church this year. But anybody who is sick, high risk, or immunocompromised should not feel they need to go to Mass. And you are encouraged to wear a mask. Are you planning a holiday flight to see family and friends? Make sure you give yourself plenty of time. Look at this line. This was this morning uh, at security at Hopkins Airport. Today and Sunday are expected to be the busiest days for travel this year. TSA says nationwide it screened more than 2 million people yesterday. That's more than pre-pandemic numbers in 2019, and it expects to screen even more today through January 3rd. Katie McGraw, that's a lot of people. It is very busy. If you're hanging around Cleveland throughout the rest of this evening and into Christmas, we're going to be seeing warming temperatures into the 40s we go for tonight. That's going to be our high temperature for the day, but also a couple of evening showers. These shouldn't really amount to much or be very impactful. A different scenario by Christmas Eve at night. That's when showers are going to become more widespread and continue on and off throughout the day on Christmas. It's going to be a soggy one and mild as well. The mild air does not last long, though. By Christmas night, we're back into the 30s. Sunday, lake effect showers will continue only at 38 degrees and the yo-yo trend continues as we head into next week and it's going to be fairly active as well. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.